Hi people, welcome to my channel. I am Arpata Karva and in this video, I am going to talk about what are the small tips that you can apply at this moment and can turn your net preparation into a success story. I am pretty sure that since the exam is very near, most of you must be engaged in some or the other kind of negative self-talk. Some of you must be wondering that I have not studied ki. The others must be questioning that my friend has studied how much. If it has been done and it has not been done, so how am I going to face my peer group? How am I going to face my parents? And I am pretty sure that these all things will be bothering you. But let me tell you that ye pure negative self-talk se kuch bhi aap hasil nahi kar paenge. Whatever you do, whatever you say to yourself that is just going to take your energy away and stop you from taking the right actions at this moment. So my request to you, all of you who are preparing for the next net exam is that at this point, stop all the negative self-talk, all the past baggages, all that guilt trip. Keep that aside and start with the actions. In this video, I am going to tell you some really fine tips that you can apply and change your net preparation strategy totally. If you have not studied so far by applying these tips, I am pretty sure that you will be able to achieve your results next time. So if you are all ready, all set, then keep watching this video and before we move ahead a very small request subscribe to the channel so that you get notified about all the latest videos that i upload for all my ugc net aspirants at the same time if you've not yet visited our website arpitakarva.com i think you should do it right now because it has got all the previous year papers and all important tips and tricks which might help you to qualify net this time with really high marks the first important tip that I would like to give you here is very simple. Have you ever asked yourself that why is that some people achieve their goals in life and some don't? If you can actually get to the answer of this question, I'm pretty sure that you can apply the same concept here and achieve your goal of qualifying net. The reason why most of the people don't get or achieve their goal is that the goal is very difficult. I am pretty sure that most of you must be thinking that yes, the goal is unachievable or maybe I am not competent enough. That is the reason why I can't achieve my goal of qualifying net. Net is too hard, too difficult and that is the reason why I can't achieve uh, my target and some people who find it easy can achieve it. No, you are mistaken. Research shows that the people who achieve their goal, who reach their goal are the people who actually understand the fact that need and value that you associate to your goal is more important than whether the goal is difficult or easy. The people who achieve their targets in life don't achieve it because they think that it's easy. It is because the value and need that they have associated with that goal is very important to them. So I would like you to do one small exercise, pause this video and write down five things five things that you will achieve if you clear net exam. Why is net exam so important for you? For some people, net might be a way to become financially independent. For others, it might be a dream of their parents that they wish to fulfill. Whatever it is, write down top five reasons why you want to clear or crack this exam. And after you have written that in a piece of paper, stick that paper just in front of your study desk. And every day when you sit down to study, just take a moment and look at that sheet. It is the purpose that will drive you to focus to study more. I'm telling you, I have done it myself when I was preparing for my net exam and it, this technique has done wonders for me. And I'm pretty sure this technique is also going to be a very, very important step in your success journey. Now that you have aligned yourself with the purpose of your life and you have also aligned why this exam is one crucial milestone in achieving the purpose of your life, we move next to step number two. Now, the next important thing that you have to ask yourself is the question, a very important question. What would I do if I don't clear this exam? I'm pretty sure that when you ask this question to yourself, some people might have a plan B in their mind. 
Now let me tell you, it's good to have plan B at times, but when you're preparing for a competitive exam, it's never good to have a plan B. What happens when you have a plan B in your mind? Your commitment, your dedication goes weak. You don't feel like studying because subconsciously, you know that I'll do something else. You can only study constantly and with self-discipline for an exam when you know that this is a do or a die situation. If I don't clear net, my life is going to end. It is very important for you to understand the fact that your goal should become the only goal in your life. If you have multiple goals or multiple options that you might take, I might try for that exam or I might do this job or I might study further and get this degree, you are never going to feel motivated enough to study for this exam. So today, make it a point that you tell yourself that you don't have a plan B. It's either net or it's nothing. So if you cannot achieve this goal, you're going to face a life shaking situation. And I'm telling you that when you tell yourself that your brain will be rewired to study very consistently for this exam. Before we move on to the third point, I would actually like to quote one of my favorite quotes by Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein very rightly said that the same level of thinking that created problem cannot generate solution. And if you look at this line, it is so beautiful. We all are so much problem oriented that we fail to look at solutions which are right in front of us. We keep on cribbing and criticizing people, blaming situations. Is ki se ho gaya, assignments the, exams the, ghar mein shadi thi. And we give so many excuses and we try to tell us that it's not our mistake. It's because of the situations and the events and the people who are in our life are not able to achieve the goal. We try to play the blame game. But let me tell you one thing very clearly. This blame game is never going to help you. Stop looking at the problems for once and start looking at the solution. Start looking for ways you can make this work even now. Focus on what's possible right now. There are people who call me and tell me that we just have 20 days and I've not studied anything. Can I actually sit for the exam and get a decent score? I tell them, yes, you can. Why? Because you're only focusing on the five months that you've wasted. You're not focusing on the 20 days that you have in your hand. And let me give you a very simple timetable for these 20 days. You have 20 days in your hands and you've got eight hours. If you multiply 20 days with eight hours, you will figure out that you have 160 hours. 160 hours, don't you think that's really nice? 160 hours if you can sit down and you can study some topics i'm pretty sure that in 160 hours you can at least complete 50 important topics which will be a part of your next question paper 50 topics in 160 hours that's not a very tough job three hours per topic you'll be able to achieve that milestone for people who are into english literature and who are preparing for ugc net paper to english literature i can tell you that you can read the summary of an important text in like two hours and if you can just calculate you'll be able to complete 80 important text and even if you get like 10 questions from these 80 text you will be so much more in terms of your preparation and you'll be so much more confident on the day of the exam. So my very simple question to you is, can you stop looking at the problems for once and start looking for solutions? And if you can do that, I'm telling you, the entire universe is going to conspire and give you some situations and some uh, ways in which you can manifest what you desire. So it's more inside the brain and less around our circumstances. So rewire your brain. Tell yourself that I'm going to stop the negative self-talk. I'm going to stop blaming myself, blaming others, and I'm going to get into the action mode. I'm going to do what it takes to clear this exam. A lot of people who are a part of my crash course, they ask me that, why are you so confident about the crash course? Like, what is that your crash course has, which the other people who are in the industry don't have? And I tell them a very simple logic. I tell them that I have cracked the pattern of the paper. Why so? Because if you look at the results that we produced last year, you will figure out that 
a lot of our students said that 95% of the paper was exactly from what we taught. And why were we able to do that? Because we have actually cracked the pattern. What I meant to tell you at this point is that if you look at the music industry, if you look at the great uh, lyric writers like Gulzar or maybe great music composers like A.R. Rahman, you will find that in their interviews, they constantly focus on one thing. They say that what makes us so unique, why we are known as the masters of music industry is the fact that we have developed this strategy to crack the pattern in any piece of music. You give them any sound, which for you might be a noise. You give it to them, they're going to crack the pattern. They're going to see that how this music is formed. What is the pattern which is happening again and again? And they master the art of creating or understanding patterns. The same thing applies in our life. People who are sitting for competitive exam must know the art of cracking the question paper. They must know that what kind of questions are asked from what topics. There are topics from which they might ask you easy questions because the topic is hard in itself. There are topics which are very easy from which they are going to ask you very tricky question. You should understand how to approach a particular topic looking at the previous year papers. Also at the same time, you should also understand the pattern how you learn and remember excellently. There are people who are audio learners. There are people who are visual learners. Some people can study in group and memorize a topic so easily. Some people can only study alone and understand and grasp the topic. I am one of them who can never study in groups. I have to sit down and study on my own. I am a visual learner. I learn best when I have a book in front of me, I have highlighters, I have colors, I make my own notes, I have these sticky notes and by all these things, things get imprinted in my brain. You might be a kinesthetic learner. When you actually see something happening, you understand that well. So you have to understand what is your study pattern, how you remember a subject well and apply that in your studies. I'm telling you, even if there are only 20 days remaining, just try to figure out how you study best. Your study pattern can be very different from your friends. Your friend might be a visual learner. You might be an auditory learner. It's fine. No issues in that. But then stick to what helps you in your preparation. Don't try to copy somebody because all of you are genetically different. All of you have a very different retina, a very unique DNA. So don't copy people. Just try to figure out your pattern, your way of learning. And I'm telling you, if you can crack that code, nobody can take the net exam away from you. Nobody can actually take your goals away from you. So I'm giving you my best wishes. I'm telling you that if you can just look at this video and the points I've discussed, you will be very uh, easily able to clear this exam, crack this exam. These are things that nobody tells you, but then this is how toppers are very uh, different from the average people. Why toppers score such uh, great marks with low efforts is the reason that they work on these skills that I have lined up in front of you. So understand why people fail in the exam, study their mistakes and then make sure that you have your own strategy lined up for you. So I wish you all the very best for the upcoming net exam. If you have any questions, any doubts, put that in the comment section below and I'm telling you, I'm assuring you that I'm going to read all the comments and make a video on those topics. Also, if you have not checked our crash course, please make sure that you go to our website and check our uniquely designed UGC Net English Literature crash course and enroll yourself into it. I'm telling you that we have cracked the exam pattern and we are trying to give you the best data so that you can master as much as you can in the next 20 days. At the same time, previous year papers are there on my website, solved papers are there. So you just need to go to the website and get all the previous year papers so that you can see the questions yourself and accordingly start your preparation. Don't worry if stress is bothering you. We have a very fantastically made meditation for all the students who are struggling with exam anxiety. It's there on the YouTube. I've also given the link in the description box below. So check that out and make sure that you study with all your zeal and enthusiasm and crack the exam this time. Wish you all the best from the entire team of arpitakarva.com. 
we'll see you next time in the next video till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com